Welcome to Senior Break. I'm Dawn Medici with Oxford Township Parks and Recreation. And I'm Marie May from Addison Township Senior Center. Hi, Marie. Hi, Dawn. How are you? I'm good, and how are you? I'm doing very well, very well. The, the, the season is here, and the year has gone by so fast. I know. I and can't believe it. Are you ready with all your gifts and no, shopping? No, I'm not. No, I'm not. not I still have so much to do. I'm not either. It just, it just comes so fast. Yes, and yeah. you know, I don't even, my kids aren't even young any longer. I mean, they're adults now that I don't even have, you know, um, a lot, think, of gifts. a lot of gifts that yeah. I need to prepare for, yeah. but, yeah. or work with them to prepare to give to Santa, you yeah. know, so it, my my focus on the holidays is so different than what it used to be. It so. is, it is, as you, as you get older. I, I guess you can appreciate it more, really. You do. I, you have a little more time. Yep, and you can sit back yes. and soak it mm -hmm. all in yep. and just really, I mean, I've always enjoyed it, but now it's it's just different. Yeah, it's it's different. a different enjoyment. It's a different so. special. And not, we used to, I think, do all the work. Now we can go to somebody's house and and enjoy, enjoy. Yes. and visit more. Yeah, so who do we have for our guest today? Oh, I thought you had gotten our guest No, for today. I thought you were uh -oh. getting our guest we, for today. Uh oh what are we gonna do? I don't know, I don't know, should we? Uh oh, oh. what's that? <laughs> oh, oh my goodness. look, it's Santa! Hi ladies, hello How are you? Santa! Hi Marie! Hello. Hi, Santa. Hello. Good to see you. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I'll yeah, please come on in and oh, join us, Santa. Oh, my gosh, Marie, what a surprise. I know it. Oh, oh my. Well, wow. Well, the Oxford area, you know, the kids in Oxford have been so good. Mm -hmm. I am so impressed. I've just been kind of making appearances here and there just to just to check on the kids and, and let them know how proud I am of them. Yes. Oh, this is, this is really a surprise. It <laughs> is a surprise. Thank you, Santa. Oh, thank you. So how, how did you kind of manage? I mean, I know Santa's magical, so you must have sensed that we didn't have anybody. a guest today, right? Well, you know, I, I knew that OCT was, TV was over here, and I thought I would just make a visit and, mm -hmm. and see if we'd have a chance to talk, because, again, I am so proud of the kids. I just wanted to make sure they were aware of that. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, that, so. that's that's good. So, how did you get here? Well, and when did you get into town? Yes. Oh, I got you know I I flew in this morning with my reindeer, my sleigh. Um, we actually landed in Flint and Bishop. Oh, and okay. I've got friends there, and the reindeer have so much room to play. Oh. So they can run around they'll, and 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 they feed them and take care of them for me. Wow. And I just drove down here. I got in about six. About 6.05 this morning, I think it was. Oh, wow. wow. Well, we, wow. we could have brought food weather, if we'd have known. Weather was great. Mm -hmm. it, you know, I didn't run into too, many, too much snow, so, mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, that's good. That's good. I, I hear we, we've got maybe a little bit of sleet coming late sometime today and maybe some snow in our forecast tomorrow. Well, I hope so because it sure makes, oh, Sandy, so sure makes for a smoother landing. Yeah. I'll tell you, yeah. that's so right. soft we'll landing. That right. It's nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so. That's very good. Oh, good. So um, we can we ask you any questions now? Oh, I mean, anything. Are you here to, yeah. Okay. What would you like to know? Um, I'd like to know what your favorite cookie is. Oh, my favorite cookie. My favorite <laughs> cookie is the one that ends in cookie. Oh, okay. Chocolate chip cookie, the snickerdoodle cookies, the Oreo cookies. You know, those Keebler elves, they know what they're doing. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, anything that ends in cookie, that's my favorite. So I'm just wondering if we, you know, always left a cookie for Santa, should we have left a carrot for the reindeer? Oh, well, you know, the, the, the reindeer love carrots. <laughs> but one of their favorites, and most people don't know this, is raisins. Oh. oh. Reindeer love raisins. Wow. Mm -hmm. I, didn't, I never knew that. Yeah, they, 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 they like oh. raisins. They, their diet consists mainly of lichen. Okay. You know, like a little moss. They actually mm -hmm. call it reindeer lichen in a lot of areas, but, mm -hmm. but they do like their... They like oh. carrots as treats. They like That's good to know. They like it all. Of course, carrots. we'd have to leave a whole bag of carrots because you've got so many reindeer. Well, yeah. And you know, it takes a lot of energy <laughs> flying around, so they burn yeah, through yeah. that. So right. Yeah. Whenever yeah. I stop and the kids have a treat there for the reindeer, carrots, apples, whatever it may be. Right. Keeps their energy up. Oh, that's really. So, the, I mean, this is a busy time of the year. I'm, I'm, I think though the whole year is actually a busy time because it, it takes a lot of time to prepare and make a lot of the toys and the gifts for the children so oh, are you is are the elves kind of like just settling down and just getting things kind of 
packaged and ready for you to load into the sleigh to, to get delivered? Or? I don't know if those elves ever settle down. Okay. <laughs> they are so busy. The, to them, oh, yeah. they love to work. Right. And, you know, they're, right now they're packing up the pack packages and the presents, but their work starts December 26th. Wow. As soon as Christmas is over, they are back at it. Wow. wow. Santa finds it hard to keep up with those uh, dolls. I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure. Wow. And how's Mrs. Claus doing? Mrs. Claus is fantastic. Oh, good. Santa could not be Santa without Mrs. Claus. Well, you're looking like you're not hurting for well, much of anything, you know, Santa. I have to say that Mrs. Claus is a fantastic cook. Okay. And always has warm cookies for me. Wow. Oh, wow. That's really nice. Do you happen to have a favorite reindeer? I know oh. Rudolph's always been the favorite, but is he your favorite? Well, Rudolph is one of my favorite. He helped me out at a very hard time when, you know, there were some bad storms. Oh. Um, but, you know, I am really fond of Prancer as well. Okay. Um, and, and I love the reindeer. I could talk about the reindeer all day. Reindeer are such a unique they, animal. You're right. They, they are the only deer that both the male and the female have antlers. Mm. And, oh, and wow. Everybody wants to know, well, who pulls the sleigh? Is it the, the boy reindeer or the girls? And, you know, it's all the ladies because the boys they lose their antlers around November, mm -hmm. but they start in about, I think about February, getting their antlers. Now the, the ladies, they don't start getting their antlers until later in the season, and they keep theirs, their antlers, they fall off, but they keep them through, the, through November, December. Wow. So it's all the ladies that pull my sleigh. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I will oh, comment. <laughs> another little, another little, you can't make sense. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying anything. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm doing, keep my mind. Well, another fun thing about the reindeer is you've, you've heard the poem up on the rooftop, click, click, click. Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, the click, click, click is because the reindeer have tendons in their ankles. And when they're moving their, their oh. feet, they click. Okay. And that clicking sound is so that when they're they're traveling, they like to travel together in herds. They go single file, and that click 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 helps them to hear and stay in line when oh. it's a when it's a blizzard. So it's a complete whiteout. They can hear that and they stay oh. in line. There's oh. so much more to this than I ever thought. Oh, I mean, there, you know, it's always they're Santa a Claus. Remarkable and, animal, and they're good friends. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's yeah. Really good. Wow. What about um, Christmas carols? Oh, Do you have Christmas a favorite carols. Christmas carol? I have two that are at the top of my list. Um, Away in a Manger, of mm, course, because that's a nice one. the whole Christmas season is based on Jesus' birthday. Right. Mm -hmm. So Away in a Manger yeah. is my fa was one of my favorites. The other Special. is Santa Claus is Coming to Town. Oh. Every mm -hmm. time I hear it, it reminds me, <laughs> and I get so excited. Mm -hmm. I just hear the tune, and I'm ready to hop in my sleigh. Wow. <laughs> so, Santa, after you're out and you've delivered all of these beautiful gifts to all these children throughout the world, what does your, do you get a, a, a day to rest? Well, I have to tell you, Santa does not have the energy of all those elves. So usually the day after Christmas, Santa sleeps in a oh. bit. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you can't, don't blame you at all. Oh, don't blame me yes. At all. Well, I'm going to move on to, I have a, a list mm -hmm. from a child. Oh. And I was going to mail it. Oh, there's, so, there's no need to mail it. What, hap what, do you, what, do you, what happens with the list? Well, when I'm down this visiting. My list. Of I course. Oh, that, well, yeah. When mm -hmm. I'm down visiting, you know, depending on the signal that I have, because, you know, the northern lights, the aurora borealis, yes. they're very powerful up in the North Pole. Wow. And if the signal is good, sometimes I can just scan the list and mm. send it right up. Mm -hmm. Other times, you know, of course, I, I always appreciate a good written list, but th this list right here that you've got? Yes. Well, let me, let me review it real uh, quick. Okay. All right. Magic Mixie. That, you know, that's, that's a very popular toy this year. Mm -hmm. Wow. Um, and, oh, we've got requests for LOL dolls and Legos. I love to give Legos. Yeah. You know, because it uses the kid's imagination. I just mm -hmm. love that. Mm -hmm. But what I will do for you today, mm -hmm. since I've got a good signal, I can't always do this, but I'll just scan this list. Oh, wow. And Ooh. off to the North Pole it goes. 
Wow. Bernard has already received this. No. Oh, what? yes. Yep. No. Bernard, my head elf, he's got this list already. And those elves, they're just going to start working on it right away. But, wow. And then, you know, I've already got it. So I just usually return it to the children. So all I do is I put my official seal of Santa oh. that acknowledges that I've received their list. Oh, this oh, is wow. Santa. List. Oh, wow. And it's a Santa? Santa. Official oh, yeah. seal of Santa. Wow. That's my official stamp. Oh, I'm going to So they this. know that, they have, that Santa has received their list. Wow. That's great. Yeah. My, my children, when they used to write letters to Santa and mail them out oh. to Santa to the North Pole, they would end up on our Christmas tree on Christmas morning. Well, Their lists were returned to them. Well, I, I, I don't thought that was them. yeah. Th I thought that was so neat of Santa neat. to yeah. to return the list. Oh, and yeah, there are times where I will return the list. I don't always return them. Okay, but there are some families that have that tradition, and I just want to keep that going. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know, we're going to take a little break right now, and we will be back with Santa in just a few minutes and ask him some more questions. This is wonderful. Be right back. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. All right. Welcome back to Senior Break. So just before we went to break, we were talking about how magical things can be for our kids at the holiday season. <laughs> and it's just so fun and exciting to see, like my kids saw their Christmas list on the tree oh. and they knew Santa had been there, you know? So that, that's just such a warm and fuzzy, was a warm and fuzzy feeling for all of us, when very special. And then when the cookies, cookies are gone. gone. Oh, that's one of my favorite parts too, yeah. <laughs> making the cookies disappear. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, so okay. we have more questions for you. Oh, absolutely. Um, how cold is it in the North Pole? Oh, you know, it gets pretty cold. That's why there's so few animals up there. The reindeer can handle that cold. The polar bears, Arctic fox, seals. Wow. But it gets, the average temperature during our nine months of winter is negative 40 <gasps> Fahrenheit. So mm. it can be pretty chilly. Um, but our three months of summer that we have, it gets pretty balmy. It's t-shirt weather. It's 32 degrees Fahrenheit. It's <laughs> right at freezing. <laughs> t-shirt weather oh, yeah. at 32? Weather. Absolutely. So, nice. Oh, nice. wow. The elves can handle a lot of cold oh, weather. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Wow. Wow. They have, they have uh, hair on the bottom of their feet. Helps keep them insulated. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's... I never knew that. Oh, yeah. I didn't either. But just that, like the reindeer. Good. Yes. Because then you don't worry about them getting cold. You just and with working, no. they're moving all the time, so they're probably. Well, I guess they anyway. are just bundles of energy. Yeah. yeah. Wow. <laughs> oh. well, good. So Santa, you know, when you're out and about or over the holidays, how are if a home doesn't have a chimney, how are you getting into their homes? Oh well, you know, it's Christmas Eve is a special day. It's a very special day. Let me see. I've got, I've got keys here oh. that will get me into their home. Oh. I've got several different keys. Um, let me see. This key is to my workshop. Okay. And that gets me in there. Beautiful key. This key is to my reindeer barn. Oh. And you know, Santa's, Santa's got the nine reindeer that pull a sleigh. You know, eight with Rudolph, mm -hmm. and then. You know, I've got a bunch more reindeer because they're, you know, they, reindeer are very hardy and they're strong and they can pull sleighs all around for the work. You know, they help us almost like horses, like big draft horses. Right. They are strong and they will pull the sleighs around from barn to barn and workshop mm -hmm. to the, to everywhere. But this key, this is the one that answers your question. This key will get me into any house that doesn't have a chimney. Oh. On Christmas Eve. Oh. Uh -huh. So this one is my pass key to get into the see the children deliver presents to the children that don't have a chimney. Yeah. Whoa. Wow. Oh yeah. Those are beautiful keys. Oh, they thank are. You. Thank you. They are. And um, sometimes I see you in one place, and I might go somewhere else and see you in another place. How does that? Oh yes. How do, what? How do you do that? Well, you know, you never know where I'm going to be, but Santa can't be everywhere at the same time. So right. I have helpers. 
I have helpers that actually go to special schools. Oh. oh. And they wow. will go to schools to learn how to help Santa. Wow. And they are all over the world. And well, that that's that helps. Oh. Definitely helps because you can't be everywhere I every can't day. Be everywhere, no. Right. And but these helpers are special, and they have been. They just have that Christmas spirit, and they love the children, yes. just like Santa. Right. And I am so proud of them. Mm -hmm. But you never know. I like to pop in every in different places. You never know mm -hmm. when it's going to be me. Yeah. <laughs> so you have to deliver so many gifts oh, all gosh. in one night. Yes. So is it the speed of the reindeer, or is it how do you how do you do that? Well, it's several things. It's the speed of the reindeer. But most people think, you know, I have to deliver all these presents on one night in 12 hours. But, you know, actually I have about a little over 35 hours to deliver presents. Because right. if I start in the far east, the way oh. the earth rotates, it's dark over there before it is oh. over here. Right. And yep. I deliver on that side and I work my way around. Oh. Um, so I have more time than you would actually think. And the other thing is, not all places celebrate Christmas on that's, the same day. That's true. That's right. You know, so I only have to deliver to so many regions. Yeah, that's true. So that's a big help as well. Yeah. Yeah. So, wow. Yeah. It's, 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 it's so wow. exciting. It is. It's, oh. It seems like you'd sleep more than one day after Christmas. I know. Well, right. All that I, work. I won't say, but there are some times where he, he, Santa does sleep in pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> you, just have to. you just have to. Right. Well, this has really been... Uh, a, a good, educated <laughs> yes. session. Oh, yeah. Santa thank you. Claus. Thank you. I have enjoyed it. Yes. Mm -hmm. no. Well, yes. Santa, too, I mean, how, how many suits do you have? You have to have more than one suit, I would oh, think. Oh, I've got lots of different suits. So some of you will see me in a robe okay. with, you know, the shirt underneath. I've got, oh, I've got a big closet. That's almost as big as my, <laughs> my workshop. Okay. But I've got a, a large assortment. But a lot of times you'll just see me in red flannel work because I, I don't work in this in my barn okay you know not with all the fur and I would get it I would get it dirty in my workshop so you know I wear overalls okay yeah there's times I wear my jeans mm -hmm. just you know just like everyone else Santa's another person like everyone else so I do have a whole different wardrobe okay wow. this I wear because it's such a special time and when you're up that high, you really need something to keep, keep you warm. You, yes, I was going to say, it does, it looks like it does keep you warm. Oh, it's very warm, very yes. warm. So how old is a kid? How old do you have to be to, is there an age limit for me to write a list and leave my list for Santa? Well, let me tell do you. have to be, you know, a certain age? You know, it's funny because we're kind of all children at heart. Yes. And. I will. I I love to get lists from anywhere from two-year-olds where mom and dad are helping them with their list to a hundred. Yeah. Everyone's a child at heart. You yeah. are never too old to send Santa a letter. So yeah. Santa, um, you know, Marie and I work with seniors in our community and offer senior programs. If one of our seniors would like to talk with you this holiday season, maybe they have a grandchild that they may want you to maybe um, stop in and make, sh you know, maybe see, or maybe they just want to talk to you. How um, can we sh we take their information and share it with you for you to reach out to sure, talk with them? And, and I will reach out to as many as I can. But this time of the year, it gets very busy. Yes. So I might not be able to talk to everyone. Sure. But I will make contact with as many as possible. Okay. I love to talk to the people, the children. Okay. It's it's it is my it is my joy. Yes. Okay. All right. Well. So they they should contact us. Yeah. So and contact. We will pass the word on. Right. Yeah. So contact okay. Oxford Township Parks and Recreation or Me? Addison, Marie at Addison, and we will get your contact information to Santa, and Santa will give you a jingle. So. Well, thank you, Santa. Well, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, it was so nice to visit. And yeah. I'm leaving the list this year. Are you? I am too, for sure. <laughs> well, be a little kid. No. There you go. So Merry Christmas, thank Santa. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Safe travels <laughs> this holiday season. Oh, thank you. Yes. And you as well. All right. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Thank All you. right. Merry Christmas. <laughs> All right. We will be right back. <laughs>
Welcome back to Senior Break. Wow, that was that was so cool that Santa was able to drop in today. Yes, and we had a conversation with him. Usually, you know, as kids, if we right. got to see him, it was, hello, how are you, and what do you want for Christmas? So to actually talk to him and realize he's so right. real. Yes. It's real and I know. magical. And magical. he um, is, is so busy. And I, I was really surprised to hear him talk about how he got here. Yes. That he came into Flint Bishop Airport. He yes. left his sleigh in Reindeer. Yes. Um, and and then drove on over I to saw, see us today. I saw a picture of his sleigh, and it is beautiful. It's red and green, and it's got gold seats, and it got it's got steps to get up to oh. him, and it just makes everything so Christmassy, so holiday, so real. Yeah, it does, just and it, and that's. So warm, mm -hmm. such a warm feeling, you know. I, I just, it just, I feel a little of excitement now for the holiday and, season. And like he said, you know, no matter how old you get, there's still a child in us. Yes. That believes, and I think that's the main thing to yes. believe. Definitely. You have to believe. Yes. But it was great. It yeah. It was great. So, and I was happy to hear that he, he, um, if time allows, and he can get it scheduled or you know worked into his busy schedule that he'll reach out to um, yes. anyone out mm -hmm. in our community mm -hmm. so don't forget to reach out to Oxford or yeah. to Addison to to me or, or Marie um, and let us know that you'd like a call from Santa and he will do his best to get that how call. exciting would I that know. be to a, a, a little one that Santa's calling yes on the phone right that would yes. be nice so For, you know we you know provide he'll do as many as he can right but uh, yes you know it, it, I would have liked that when I was a kid I'd I have been know excited. me too I, I would have been, have been about thrilled it. yes and then his stamp his official signature stamp is just, it's, it's just beautiful. I don't know beautiful. if you could see it if we held that up. I don't yeah. know. It's, so let's, it's a, it, the stamp says Santa on it. Yeah, so let's see. I don't, don't want to. I don't know if you really can see that, but it's pretty cool. I think he's actually got two stamps on here, so um, it, it's just really, really neat. Yes. So, and he carries that with him. He carries it with him. Yep. So, oh, well, it's, it's December. I can't believe we're almost to the Christmas holiday and the new last, year. Our last show this and year. And our last show. And I'm sure between the two of us, we've got a lot that we're trying to do at our centers before the end of the year. For the new year, too. Yep, and for the up. new year. Yes. Right. So we have, um, we have a new exercise program that will be starting in January. Um, next week, we have our senior um, Christmas party, okay. holiday party. Um, if you are interested in attending, we'd love to have you, but call me please and let me know so we know how many people to, okay. to expect. So is it a potluck or yes. is it um, being catered? No, or it's potluck. A it's potluck? potluck. Yeah. And are, are you bringing gifts or anything no, to do no a gift, gift exchange? No, no, no gift, gift exchange, okay. The girls will play cards. Oh, fun. And we have a surprise visitor coming. Oh, mm -hmm. I wonder who but that I might be. can't say who it is. No, right, we don't right. want to ruin the surprise. Nope. nope. No. But uh, that'll be next week. And okay. That'll kind of, we're kind of easing our way into the end of the year. Right. You know, so, so what time next week? Next week, um, if you're at our center, if you come to Addison about 11 o'clock, it would be good. Okay. And you know, is it on what day? It's Wednesday. Wednesday it's at about Wednesday 11. Wednesday the 14th. Yes. Wednesday mm -hmm. the 14th. Yes. Great. So it'll be fun. It'll be our little uh, uh, farewell, I guess I want to say. Right. Because everybody's so busy that week that we made our, our party earlier. Okay. Because for the next two weeks, I should say, everybody's sure. so busy. Yes, yeah. and so at Oxford, our couple of our programs that um, we've been uh, that run throughout the the year are actually doing potlucks after their classes. So oh. that's kind of the route that we went this year. Yeah, and um, and then in addition, we have Chef Brian over at Independence mm -hmm. Village mm -hmm. over in Oxford in, in the Waterstone community, mm -hmm. who's preparing some boxed meals for. Um, our community members mm -hmm. and um, if you're interested in one of those box meals um, there is a cost 
but please reach out to the Parks and Recreation, get registered, make that payment. Mm -hmm. Or if you know somebody that really could use that box mm -hmm. lunch, I guess let us know as well because we'll do our best to get them a, a meal. And even if it's not about meals, it's really good for us to reach out especially to senior citizens during yes just call them right say hi how is your holiday going um just call right just that call means a lot it and, does because really you can't so many people say what can i buy somebody you really can't buy seniors much right because they've either have it or they you know don't have room for it anymore right or, but you, but a phone call is nice right or go out to lunch or something right and that, a phone call important. goes a long way I yes. mean it's it's good just to touch base with a neighbor or a yes. family member that maybe you haven't spoken to in a while and just let them know that you're thinking about mm -hmm. them and mm -hmm. see if they need anything because yes. um, maybe they just they need maybe a ride to a, a doctor's appointment or maybe That's a wonderful gift that, and, and yes That's a wonderful right. gift. Right. I mean, so there's other ways that we can give and be and and be kind during the holidays. So and it cheers them up for the day just to get a phone call. Right. If you get a phone call in the morning from somebody that you haven't heard from, maybe or right. You know, but it's very important that right. senior seniors keep making friends. Yes. Keep making friends. Right. It's, it's so important. Right. And and these centers, your center and my center too. I know um, these ladies that come regularly are our girlfriends. Yes. They, they'll meet at the senior center, they'll go out to lunch sometimes, they'll right. just, they, their girlfriends are good right. friends. And that's yeah. what's good. Yes. That's what's good. So we, um, this week, um, our Parks and Recreation winter brochure um, was an insert in the Oxford Leader and was distributed throughout Oxford, I believe Metamora, and part of Lake Orion. Um, so please watch for that in your Oxford Leader and take a look at the programs that we will be offering into the new year. Um, we have a couple of neat things going on in the new year um, that don't cost anything, um, but that you could come out and participate in. So please take a look at the book and for our, and the program offerings and just, just to get out be just active together. yeah mm -hmm. and just be with other people my seniors are waiting for the casino trips oh yes I we've got a, a list yes mm -hmm. so I we have, have a, a couple list, of so. those coming up in yeah. january and february yeah. of next year so and a casino trip in my opinion is very good for a senior because there's not a lot of places you can go and have fun for 10 minutes and then sit down right and then yeah. you get up and walk as long as you want then you sit down because right. you're moving from machine to machine in a right. casino, yes. you know, so it's to me it's a perfect thing. To and the about. casinos typically have really good food, so yeah, they do. They yeah, do. yeah, you can get a lot. And deals, to eat. they have good deals. Yes, yeah, I know yours has good deals. Yes, so yeah, yeah, one's coming up in January and then one in February. So if you're interested in a casino trip, please reach out to us and get registered at the Parks and Recreation. Yeah. So, residents or non-residents, all are welcome. Yes. So yes, yeah. It'd be nice to have you to come out and, and, and join me for one of them. Oh, yes, we will. We yeah. will. We'll be out. So. so, all right. Anything else before we um, finish up um, our year? No, thank you for watching, everyone. And, yes. and uh, if you have ideas that you'd like to see a certain person on the show, right. um, give or, us a call. Give right. us a call. Like when we had um, uh, the dentist, Dr. Dentist, I'll call him. Yes. Um, he was so much information. Right. You know, and it, it's that that's really good. And then we had Colette for therapeutic we had movement. Colette, we She's had, gonna be out at your place. We had, yes, we had Mary. And Mary, yeah. Mary was out telling us so. about what they do for the seniors in the area, which I I didn't know a lot of that myself. Right. So it's so interesting. Yes. Because yes. we're here, we wanna provide you with the information that you would like. Yes. So please be sure let to know. let us know yeah. what we can do for you in the new year. Yeah. So all right, Mary, or Marie, yeah. have a good, you too. good holiday, you too. safe travels. Oh, yeah. Yes, you too. You yes, too. all right. Good holiday. Yeah, happy Merry holidays. Christmas. Happy holiday, everybody. The ox and lamb kept time. I played my drum for him. I played my best.